What's up all you lads and ladies? Welcome to another fascinating video in the world of Reddit where we'll see what the people of the world think about humans' biological flaws. If you liked the video, post your favorite Reddit comment in the description for a chance to win $10. Hope you enjoy. Much love. What do you think is the biggest biological flaw in humans? We are one of the few animals on the planet that do not make our own ascorbic acid, vitamin C. 99% mammalian life on this planet produces ascorbic acid in their livers. Humans do not. Vitamin C is extremely important for many of our bodily functions and we die if we don't get enough. Well, this is probably the most interesting thing on this thread, in the sense that it is actually something different from the norm and uncommon amongst mammals. Thank you. It's curious information. This deserves to be higher up than something saying oh we're tribal. All other animals all get along so well. As in the guinea pigs. Vitamins were literally figured out. Because a scientist was like. Why? My guinea pig seems to have signs of scurvy. I should investigate. Huh. I remember learning this in biology in HS. Our teacher just casually dropped it yeah. Humans are the only mammals that need vitamin C. Well. Us and Chester. Chester was the guinea pig in the class, and I actually had to clarify he wasn't joking, because it seemed too bizarre, but yep. The name of this is Hypposcorbemia. It's kind of insane to think that even after periods of evolution every human is still born with a genetic fold that is capable of causing death. Scurvy. Granted, eating some fruits and vegetables is quite the simple solution. Allergies. Like I could be doing something productive during the summer slash spring. But now I'm allergic to grass fricking. Grass. Man Hafer is a bitch. Knees. Too much use. Bad. Too little. Bad. Perfect use. It still happens. Add the back to that. I didn't even mess mine up in a manly way. Like squatting. Sat in an awkward position playing video games for like 8 hours in 2012. Hasn't been the same since. Went on a vacation with my dad. He went to bed. Woke up. Back totally fricked up. Had to get spinal surgery. So pro tip. Sleeping is dangerous. Thanks for that reassuring information. We eat, drink, breathe, and speak through one hole. Thousands of people die every year by choking. I choke on my saliva sometimes. Fascinating. Imagine. You're the product of hundreds of millions of years of evolution and you die choking on your own spit. My ancestors will be disappointed. I choke during big game moments. I'm surprised the female body after birth acts like it wasn't meant to happen. I feel like the human body has adapted so much I thought childbirth would have become less painful and I guess you could say damaging to the body. It's wild that about a third of women are actually traumatized by childbirth, but it's not really widely discussed, especially considering literally every human on earth was given birth to by someone. Babies take forever to learn how to not kill themselves on accident. Also. You have to teach them how to sleep. That's dumb. Mine is struggling to poop. She was bad at eating too for the first one month. I have a six week old and I feel this is my soul right now. Poor girl struggles to fart let alone poop. Thankfully she isn't colic and doesn't scream. She just grunts and her face goes red a lot. And for hours. Until she falls asleep and farts in her sleep. Compared to other land mammals humans don't have that great of a sense of smell or hearing. Our hearing isn't that comparably bad. Our vision is way better than most mammals. We can run and swim long distances far more efficiently than quadrupeds, which at best specialize at one of those means. We can run and swim long distances far more efficiently than quadrupeds. That's because we can sweat. And it's enough to cool us down so we can keep going. Most other mammals can't sweat. It's like a superpower. Hey, I can dissolve my tiredness in water and yeet it off my skin. Checkmate, animals. If you believe in evolution I believe in evolution. But I want to keep this open ended. 
Apparently our sinuses were used to elevate our sense of smell. Now they just get clogged and give us pain. The bigger the brain, the smaller the jaw and the face became more flat. Evolution took our sense of smell in exchange of our brain. Fevers? They can go crazy high and kill you and they are supposed to help you. When I had pneumonia my temp was 107 degrees air. It sucked. That's a brain damagingly high temperature. Yeah I don't think I've been the same since. I think our eyes are too fragile. We rely on them so much, but a sharp stick could just easily put them out. I need glasses, because my mum says I play too many video games. You should ask her to stop saying that then. Periods. Yeah, I get why it happens and why it's necessary. But there are animals that will just reabsorb that blood. Why can't we? It also just doesn't make sense from an evolutionary standpoint. A week out of every month you're just bleeding everywhere. Way back when people were hunting and gathering, that would leave behind blood where you've been and could lead predators straight to you. The fight or flight response activating when I'm trying to order a taco. My body is all run bit run. We gotta get out of here, but somehow it can't tell that I'm not in danger. Stupid. Listen to your gut. Trust your instincts. I have the instincts of a particularly nervous rodent on a cocktail of coke and amphetamines. My gut is telling me that my dentist is going to reach down my throat and turn me inside out like a sock. I'd rather trust a toddler to rewire my electrics than my own gut instincts. Our teeth aren't very durable. Our teeth don't regenerate like most everything else. That's a huge flaw. Fun fact. If our teeth regenerated we would have major bite issues. There is a very rare gene that allows people to regenerate their teeth. Unfortunately anyone who has this has pretty big teeth alignment issues. We evolved to not regenerate teeth in favor of better teeth alignment so we could better extract nutrients from food. We spent about one third of our leaves unconscious, vulnerable to threats and not productive. Sleep is weird. Yeah, but we can go without sleep if needed and this, along with some other skills such as sweating, has led to us being able to hunt an animal to death purely by following it till it dies of exhaustion. Have you ever read that post about the most terrifying animal of all time? How it can know what you know by seeing where you have been. How it can extend its waking hours for days to follow you. How it will slowly walk at you unceasing. Rally stopping to drink or eat with fangs on a pole it fashioned from your kinfolk. How it appears weak like a lamb. Good strikes at your perfect weakness like a lion. How it will come alone if you spook easy or bring friends if you are big and tough. Employs other animals it bred to hunt you etc. That is a human. At the end it talks about why humans even without modern inventions are actually a force to be reckoned with. No idea if it is true. But it gave me shivers the first time I read it. The way we evolved to walk upright is actually really poorly designed and now we have back pain. I remember an episode of Lawyer where he is dealing with back pain and a doctor says, nature gave us a clothesline and we're using it as a flagpole. Probably how helpless newborn babies are. You see other mammals like deer walking almost immediately after being born. Human babies can't even crawl until after a period of time. That's a feature not a bug. If our brains could develop to full adult capacity either very quickly after birth or each full capacity while maintaining the same head size from birth then no prob. The whole reason, by most experts, as to why we don't develop our cortex to its full capacity until circa 18 years after gestation is that our heads would be too big to pass through the birth canal. Ouch. Immer add to this another flaw. We go through puberty, with its rush of unfamiliar hormones that produce radical changes and cause generally confusing times to most kids. We do this before we have impulse control and sound judgment development in the brain needed to navigate these changes. That seems like a very dumb order to put those in. Sension seems like a pretty major frick up. 
Plenty of critters get along just fine without a constant series of existential crises or questions like why am I? Why are things? At least other species don't go out and buy expensive cars when they reach their 50s. Maybe they would if we let them. I'm not going to risk a bear driving a lifted Toyota Tundra in the fast food parking lot. Make sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell like it owes you money. Remember to post your favorite reddit comment from the video for a chance to win $10. If you post on other videos you can win double the total prize money. Oh yes, that's right. I hope you enjoyed this fantastic video. By liking and subscribing you're helping a growing channel. Take care. Pip pip cheerio. Much love from me, Matt British, and the Queen.